The internal obliques. Origin, iliac crest. Insertion, ribs. The internal obliques are a thin muscle, of which we have two, the left internal oblique and the right one, which means they have unilateral movement and bilateral movement. When just one side contracts, there is lateral flexion of the trunk and rotation to the same side. When both internal obliques contract together, it helps the rectus abdominis flex the trunk. It will also contribute to abdominal compression. External oblique. Origin, ribs. Insertion, iliac crest. External obliques have similar attachments to the internal obliques, but the origin insertions are swapped around. The external obliques are more superficial than the internal. Again, there is a left and a right external oblique. When the left contracts, it will cause lateral flexion and this time rotation to the opposite side. When both external obliques contract, it will assist the rectus abdominis in trunk flexion. Because of the way the internal and external obliques are positioned, you will find that they will always work together. Whilst many people like to do oblique crunches on the ground to train these muscles, they actually best train more functionally, such as during a wood chop type exercise.